The Boxcar Children Collection, Volume 34, contains three mystery novels by Gertrude Chandler Warner, following the adventures of the four Alden children, Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny. This compilation includes The Mystery of the Haunted Boxcar, The Clue in the Corn Maze, and The Ghost of the Chattering Bones. Here is a detailed summary of each story in the collection. The Mystery of the Haunted Boxcar in the mystery of the haunted boxcar, the Alden children find themselves delving into a spooky mystery connected to their beloved boxcar. When odd things start happening around the boxcar, which is a cherished family relic situated near their grandfather's home, the children begin to wonder if it might be haunted. Their adventure starts with the discovery of an old journal that belonged to Joe, a former worker on their grandfather's estate. The journal details the story of a sad ghost that supposedly haunts the boxcar. Determined to get to the bottom of these supernatural occurrences, the Aldens embark on a quest to uncover the true history behind the haunting. Using their combined skills and a healthy dose of bravery, they scrutinize the journal, explore the boxcar for clues, and interview townsfolk who may know more about the ghostly legend. As they delve deeper, they encounter unexplained phenomena that could easily be attributed to a ghost. Nevertheless, the Alden's logical thinking and persistent investigation ultimately reveal a logical explanation for the mysterious happenings. They uncover a hidden compartment in the boxcar that holds valuable old coins. It turns out that Joe had been using the myth of the ghost to keep people away from his secret stash. With the truth uncovered, the boxcar is once again a peaceful place, and the children have debunked another haunting. The Clue in the Corn Maze In The Clue in the Corn Maze, the Aldens visit a local farm with an elaborate corn maze. The maze is designed each year by the farm owners, the Rosses, and it is a major attraction in the area. However, during this year's maze festivities, Mr. Ross's valuable notes on maze designs go missing, and suspicion arises that someone might be sabotaging the maze to influence a maze designing contest. The Rosses are distressed and the Aldens immediately volunteer to help solve the mystery. The children make their way through the twists and turns of the corn maze, gathering clues and interviewing other contestants and associates of the farm. They encounter several suspects, including an overly competitive maze designer, a jealous rival, and a disgruntled employee. Throughout their investigation, they uncover tricks and traps within the maze, and even get lost a few times themselves. However, their perseverance pays off. Eventually, they identify the thief. One of the maze contestants had stolen the notes in hopes of winning the contest. The culprit had planned to pass off Mr. Ross's designs as their own. The Aldens expose the thief, return Mr. Ross's notes, and help to ensure the contest proceeds fairly. Justice prevails, and the farm once again becomes a place of wholesome fun and competition. The Ghost of the Chattering Bones the Ghost of the Chattering Bones involves the Aldens in a historical mystery. The children visit an old inn that is being restored in Elmford, and there they learn about a legend involving a ghost with chattering bones that roams the hillside. The ghost is said to protect a treasure hidden somewhere in the area. The inn's owner, Mrs. McGregor, tells them the tale and shows them a map that might lead to the treasure. Motivated by curiosity and the excitement of a possible treasure hunt, the children embark on the task of solving the old mystery. They decide to track the ghost's history, delve into Old Town archives, and research historical records to uncover clues. During their investigation, the children encounter strange noises and sights on the hillside that seem to confirm the legend of the ghost. However, their sensible approach to solving mysteries leads them to consider other explanations. Their attention to detail helps them to decipher the clues on the map and to suspect that perhaps someone living is responsible for the hauntings. The Aldens eventually stumble upon an elaborate hoax involving a projector and sound recordings that were used to scare off treasure hunters. They also discover that the bones are actually pieces of a musical instrument. It turns out that a descendant of the original treasure hider was using the ghost story to keep people away from the treasure. The children, wise to the ruse, follow the clues from the map, and finally unearth the treasure, which turns out to be a historic artifact related to the town's history. 
By sharing the find with the town and the innkeeper, the children ensure that the treasure contributes to the historical value of Elmford. With the mystery solved and local history enriched, the legend of the ghost can now rest as a colorful part of town lore. Together, these stories in the Boxcar Children Collection, Volume 34, weave tales of suspense and curiosity, showcasing the Aldens' enduring appeal as clever young detectives. Whether it's a spectral presence, a maze of deceit, or a bone-chilling apparition, the Alden children prove once again that no mystery is too perplexing and that no phantasm is beyond explanation. With each novel, they celebrate the power of perseverance, the thrill of adventure, and the joy of solving puzzles that challenge the imagination. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.